So welcome to the third part of this instructional video. I'm going to take you through the milk chemical composition analysis using the LactoScan Combo Milk Analyzer. So when you're interested in performing your milk sample, there are three major steps which you need to bear in mind. The first one is how you're going to prepare your sample. The second, the second one is performing now the analysis and the third one is data extraction or visualization. So moving on to the first part, uh, preparing your sample. So something to note is that uh, with milk analysis, it's recommended that you analyze the milk while it's still fresh, at least no more than six hours after milking. However, in some cases, this may not be possible. So then what do you do? So it's recommended that you store your milk, the samples which you've collected, you store them in a cooler box fitted with some ice packs. So these need to have been kept at minus 20 or minus 80 prior to introduction of, this, of, of the ice packs into the cooler box. So what if you don't have this kind of a system? There are other alternative ways in which you are able to preserve your sample pending uh, analysis. So of major interest uh, in preserving this sample is to make sure that it maintains its chemical integrity. To do this, we use chemical means. So we have commercially available uh, tablets known as Bronopol tablets, which are available and they're usually added into that milk samples. There are still other alternative methods for chemical preservation of milk prior to analysis. However, that's not within the scope of this tutorial. Once your sample uh, uh, is ready for analysis and uh, your equipment is ready, you need to homogenize the sample. Take your sample out of the cooler box. Something to know that these samples which come out of uh, a cooler box tend to be quite cold. It's recommended that these samples are left at room temperature for them to reach the normal ambient temperature of the room where the equipment in is placed. So at least 30 minutes is recommended for such samples. So once the sample has uh, achieved room temperature, the next thing is to vortex the sample for at least 30 seconds. This is to ensure that the sample is adequately homogenized. So the vortex is applied alongside the equipment. So with the homogenized sample ready, you transfer it into the sample or the vial that's provided for with the instrument for analysis. So this vial holds about 25 to 30 ml of the sample. So once the sample is transferred, we introduce it into the recess, the equipment uh, recess. And then uh, the next thing you need to make sure that uh, the sample is correctly identified. Onto the monitor window, you need to indicate the sample ID. So in our case, milk 01. And then probably just a figure here to indicate the amount. So maybe 0 0.5 that's in cages. However, this data here is not used in computing the results that you obtain. Once you're ready, you hit the cow button here. And then, as you can see, the milk is uh, aspirated through the equipment. And then, a look at the monitor, it starts to count down the analysis run, run time. So, normally, the analysis takes about 60 seconds. So within 60 seconds, you'll have your data ready. So it requires a bit of patience for that one minute to be over and for you to get your data. Once the analysis is over, you will be able to visualize the data onto the monitor, on the monitor, or additionally, the equipment comes with an inbuilt printer and you're able to get your data there. So something to know that uh, 
this inbuilt printer uses a heat sensitive paper. So if this paper is not well stored or stored in an heated environment, it tends to, or the writings obtained here tend to get rubbed off. So when handling data from this point, you need to be cautious on how you handle this heat sensitive paper. However, you are able to save uh, your file on the display monitor, either on uh, the inbuilt on the inbuilt tablet or on the or the or the additional monitor presented. So how do you extract that data? So the, there is a provision for a USB drive behind the equipment, and the procedure for exporting that data is readily available on the user manual. That's it.